Welcome, Survivor. Oh, maybe you've been looking at playing some Darkness Falls, which is actually a really good mod. I really enjoy it. I stream it weekly on my both my YouTube and my Twitch channel, and I'm having a blast. But how do you actually install it? It's a common question that I get. And there's actually a couple of ways. You can do it manually by simply downloading the client side files and updating them to your 7 Days to Die install location. But a slightly easier way is actually to use the 7 Days to Die mod launcher. And that's what I'm going to be showing today. How you install Darkness Falls, the client, with the mod launcher so you can actually play it. So the first thing we're going to have to do is go to the 7 Days to Die mod launcher.org. And there'll be some information here. The important thing is that you have to access the download link for the mod launcher. So you click on this one, it'll give you the download page. Download it, save it, install it. Once you've run the mod launcher, you'll be presented with something like this. It actually allows you to access the different versions, even the older versions. But we're going to focus on Alpha 19, which is the default right now. We're going to go down to Darkness Falls. So you'll see there'll be some information. And we're going to select Darkness Falls. And this is where you probably want to have it just copy from your already existing 7 Days to Die install on your hard disk. You can have it download from Steam, but it's easy to simply have it copy from existing. It tells you where it's going to be installed and we're simply going to do install game copy. It's going to take a while for it actually to copy things over. It's, it's making a full copy of your 7 days a day vanilla game install and putting it on the same hard disk but in a different folder. Eventually it's done, you'll see this green tick here, it means you can play the game. No, 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 wait, 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 don't do that. Be a little bit careful about that. You actually also need to pre-sync the mod. Now you've actually gotten the install of the game, but you need to then have the mod itself get installed on that location. So you hit pre-sync mod. It says the mod is not downloaded yet. Would you like download it now? And you say yes. And you'll see it's going to be downloading and it's going to be installing it on that location. Eventually, it has downloaded everything. You saw it took 10 minutes. It's a huge download, actually. And now it's copying and putting it in the correct places. Ah, more waiting. But you know what they say? He who waits for something good always waits way too long. Well, maybe they don't say it. But anyway, eventually it's done. And whew. Now, and this is where it says again, for big mods, make sure you press pre-sync. And we did that. So now everything is installed. Let's cop it in. Whew, we can hit play mod. And now we're back in the game and we can hear the different theme music, which is actually really cool to change this. So we can start a new game. This is I'm a V 3.3 a which is the latest one right now. And while you actually can do a random generated world, you probably want to make sure you don't. The reason being is that Kane has handcrafted some of these maps, small, which is 8K, medium 10K, and a large that's 12K, that has all the necessary buildings or PYs that you need to progress in the game. If you're doing a random game, you might end up without some of this science lab or military bunkers or EVE, etc. that will make your game, well, in some cases, impossible to really, well, not complete but really get very far in because you can't get access to for instance the laser workbench and so on. So it's recommended to try starting with one of the regenerated ones. You can also set things like max zombies alive and how many animals and everything and this actually makes a difference because there's a lot of zombies around. Likewise blood wound count is normally higher. Let's bring that down a little bit to 12. Let's start it. And here we are finally in the game and one thing you really want to take into account is that performance might not be as good as vanilla because there's a lot more things in there it takes a lot more ram and there's a lot more zombies around more blocks more zombies more danger but it's a really really fun mod i would definitely um suggest playing with your friends playing co-op is uh, more enjoyable because it's really really tough mod but go enjoy it install it using the mod launcher and while well, go and conquer darkness falls and as a tip darkness falls actually means something when darkness falls you might want to be in safety because well you'll find out good luck oh there's a cow over there huh. let's have a look before we actually end this video <laughs> you don't see this in the normal vanilla do you oh here's a cow ah can we kill him oh all right maybe we can't let's run away let's let's just run away Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link 